everybody, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding and Pacific North Sports. Um, travel season is upon us. One of my favorite kite travel bags um, for kite foiling and kiteboarding is the Mystic uh, Lightweight uh, Square. It's called the Elevate Lightweight Square Golf Bag. This is it. Um, one of the things that's kind of cool about this is, you know, you're, you're five pounds over or seven pounds over, you can unzip these wheels on the bottom and turn into a regular bag. Um, you guys have probably seen this bag before. Um, so I'm just going to throw a few things in here so you can see kind of the relative size. I have a four foot nine uh, board bag here. This is a 145. I ride small twin tips, like, uh, you know, in the 130s. So for me, this is plenty big. But, um, the, you know, one of the keys to traveling is taking only what you need. I usually bring a foil board when I travel. This is the new Fred Hope. Uh, Hopecraft, the V2, and a 90 centimeter. This is kind of my go-to uh, travel board. You know, easily fits in there, obviously. Twin tip, I have a Cabrina X-Cal. What is this, a 133? Yeah, 135. Uh, easily fits in there. Normally I'd put some, I'd put a few, uh, you know, pieces of clothing between those two. My 82 centimeter uh, slingshot mask. Kind of see that sucker fits right in there. We have our lowers kit for our foil here. My UFO kite right here. Put that right at the top. This is the uh, what is this? Uh, the joystick right here. Put that in there. Harness. Put in like that. And my XR7. Just like this. Kind of file everything in there. And zip her up. So I'm doing a really bad job of packing this, you can see. And it's still, it's still gonna fit. So one of my favorite techniques is once you kind of get everything in there, kind of, you know, do one of these numbers, kind of shimmy things around. Like I said, I just kind of shoved everything in there so you guys could see how much this thing fits. That's one bar, two kites, a full foiling setup, all in this lightweight um, square bag. Has some tie down straps on the sides, keep things tight here and here. So let's get a, is the carrying strap on the side. I really don't prefer these. What I like about the square is I can tighten this all the way down so it's not in the way and then just tie the extra off here um, so it doesn't get caught up at the airport, which is great, kind of like this. You know what I mean? Okay, so we'll do a quick weigh in. Let me grab the old trusty scale and we'll see where we're at. Zero that baby out. Let's see. Oh yeah, so that's easily 50 pounds. I think it's gonna be more than 50. Let's see if I can get it like this. 50, 55 pounds. So I'm a little over, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unzip. So it's like, man, I'm taking all my stuff, right? So I can unzip this. Take this bottom wheel section off and this is going to drop a couple pounds so this is that's almost three pounds right here so take that baby off and uh and we're good to go right now we're ready to now we're ready to travel it's going to be close this one's close to 50 pounds one of my main moves is if it's too heavy um, still, you know, usually you have a wetsuit, all the wetsuit in here. Like I don't really need anything else. This is all my stuff, including my harness. Um, I'll take that XR kite. Those XRs are pretty heavy. Um, that's my favorite. 
kind of twin tipping type. Um, I'll take this XR out, and I'll just take this on the on the uh, on the plane. The other one is I never travel with kite bags, so you just take it out. You know, oh wow, this had a this has a bar in it too, so that's another. You know, that would have dropped. That would have dropped another three pounds. So there's our five pounds right there. I don't take that bar. I can also lose this bag. You know, kite bag. We don't need that. Pull that out of there. And just take the kite. Um, I'll drop another pound or so, you know, just like this. And then doing a better job of actually packing this up. Um, you know, I just kind of threw the harness in there. Normally I'd kind of stuff, stuff it around one of these kites or something. So that's kind of the deal with the uh, Elevate Ultralight or Lightweight Square Bag. Very lightweight. There's not a lot to it. But, you know, if done properly, you don't need this bag to provide much um, much uh, damage control or much uh, protection. You can do a lot of that with ancillary stuff like your wetsuit, put some clothes in there. You can use a board bag. Like I wouldn't travel with that Hopecraft like this. It'd be in a separate sleeve. Um, same, same with the uh, Cabrina board. You put that in a uh, twin tip sleeve and toss it in there. So that's it. We have these guys in stock and this is the most versatile um, travel bag there is. Last thing I'm going to show you is the other great thing about this, why we love it in the shop, is once you get to your destination, maybe you're on a sailboat or in a hotel or something, instead of having this massive, massively huge golf bag hanging around, you know, like some of the other ones, you know, it's not like that. This thing will get really small. So, this thing up, hold it. This thing will get really tiny, especially without the wheels. But even with the wheels, I mean, that's it. That's your, that's your golf bag right there. That's the whole deal. Um, tiny little guy, right? Let's see what this thing weighs in at without the wheels on it. Most golf bags are around 10 pounds. This one is just under five pounds without the wheels on it. You know, so with the wheels, what do we say, three pounds? So with the wheels under eight pounds, you know, so it's three or four pounds lighter than the other bags on the market. The other one I'll take, uh, I also have a ride engine navigator trolley. Uh, what is it, navigator trolley? I think that's what it's called, it's trolley, the big one. Uh, that one's fantastic. I have four kids, uh, my wife kites. So when we go on trips, we have like a thousand wetsuits and all the other gear. I find that that one's very helpful. Usually we take two, honestly, so we'll take the lightweight square and we'll take the trolley and that pretty much all the gear we need. If you guys need any stuff for traveling, like uh, maybe a Hopecraft 90 centimeter, look at that little guy. You know, you want one of these, man. It's fantastic. You know, got a little misty thing on it. Um, you're gonna want one of those. Um, one of these, one of the uh, ultralight squares, or anything else, you know, fill out your quiver of kite, or maybe just some advice. Give us a call or check us out online. The uh, URL is the same as it always is, HoustonKiteBoarding.com or PacificNorthSports.com. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys out on the water.